At a meeting chaired by NASA principals Raila Odinga and Musalia Mudavadi that brought together its governors, senators, parliamentarians and county assembly leadership, <laughs> the opposition unveiled a raft of measures to disrupt President Uhuru Kenyatta's government functions. We have not individually and collectively delegated our sovereignty to Uhuru Kenyatta. In this regard, we call upon our members of parliament not to participate in vetting Uhuru Kenyatta's cabinet and other appointments. The opposition maintaining that it will not recognize President Kenyatta, claiming he is a product of election fraud and that NASA won the August 8th election. To recognize Raila Amolo Odinga and Kalonzo Musyoka as the legitimate president and deputy president of the Republic of Kenya, <laughs> respectively, and as sovereign people commit ourselves to see to it that they assume office. As such, NASA has directed its supporters to reject and shun the president's swearing-in ceremony on Tuesday next week, instead calling for a rival function to honor NASA supporters killed by police. To urge Kenyans to ignore the despotic coronation of Uhuru Kenyatta on Tuesday 28th November 2017 and instead join us in person at Jacaranda Grounds, Nairobi, or in spirit to mourn the lives of our dearly departed men, women and children who have paid the highest price for exercising their basic constitutionally guaranteed right of political dissent through peaceful protest. NASA remaining bullish to soldier on with the People's Assembly motions in various county assemblies with its inaugural convention set for December. The opposition claiming the assemblies are the only recourse to restoring democracy. If leaders consistently abuse power, if checks and balances do not work as they should, then the people are compelled to go back to the drawing board. The People's Assembly is that drawing board. It is not a parallel government. It is not an alternative parliament or county assembly. It is a process of charting political destiny. With the state criminalizing the passage of the People's Assembly motions and threatening to surcharge county assemblies for abuse of their powers, the opposition is digging in. That the right of citizens to exercise their sovereignty at the county level is not subject to supervision or veto by the national government. Samogina Citizen Weekend.